This is Worsten Sloth. He's an Iron Man, restricted to a very specific set of weapons. Banned from using anything at all recommended, I'll be attempting to defeat every boss in the game. This means getting a quest cape and grinding for some items that most people wouldn't care about at all. So welcome to a ridiculous journey. I'm hiding behind this wall because I want you to brace yourself for how impressed you're about to be. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at him in that beautiful blue armor. Yes. But you'll notice uh, I'm not wearing anything on my head. I'd like to fix that with the Helm of Natus Nod, an item obtained by completing the Fremenic Isles quest. Uh, there are a few requirements we need before we can do that. One of them is 20 construction, and we're just going to knock that out real quick by completing Tower of Life. But before that, I have three caskets to open. Got a beginner, an easy, and a medium. So let's open the beginner first. Hooray. All right, let's, let's open the, the easy next. That's all right. That's something kind of neat. <laughs> cool. And finally, medium, uh, ranger boots, one KC, or KC chest, that'd be great. Uh, oh, that's actually so good, what? Green dehyde body and chaps, all right. <laughs> I realized, and it was pointed out uh, from last episode, that I uh, used the same weapon the entire time and killed multiple bosses with it, and i that's kind of lame. I didn't even think about it. So, uh, going forward, I'm going to do my very best to not kill two bosses with the same weapon. I have no idea if that's actually doable. But uh, at the very least, I will make an effort. Hey, if you guys aren't going to touch the tower, uh, can I go in? Yeah, I guess, but only if you're dressed exactly like me. Give me your hat. Shirt. Now. Just going to somehow take this guy's boots from his pocket. Shroth, you find all kinds of trousers in the bush. Tired of the hectic hustle and bustle of modern life? Well, try our new patented long-ass crate searching animation. It'll force you to take things slow. For the first puzzle, I blew these pipes. Okay, the pipes are now blue. What? This time we just got a lace and pipe. I'm not sure why there's a big ass cage at the top of this tower, but uh, you know, I'm not being paid to think. Might as well just fix it. This seems questionable at best. So the alchemist succeeded in creating artificial life, but it's terribly confused. So we either need to give it a lesson in elementary school science or make it believe in magic. And I think we're gonna teach it that magic's real. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Hey, look, I brought them to you guys. That's what you wanted, right? Oh, it's not what they wanted. Ah, I've misread the situation terribly. And that's Tower of Life complete. And thanks to the homunculus here, we are now able to create unholy abominations that would make God himself shiver in fear and disgust. Thanks. If you're enjoying the series, maybe let me know by pressing the buttons. It'd be pretty cool. We have officially arrived in the swamp, and we will be doing a six quests while we're here. Uh, the first of these is In Search of the Mire Key. So we're going to go find the Mauritania Resistance and hand him some weapons. This here is Vance from Klaus, and I don't know why, but he just seems like the type of guy to be the boss in a master level quest that's harder than some of the grand master level quest bosses. I don't know. It just I just get that vibe. Ugh, I ran out of run energy between all these snails. I wish I could Escar go any faster. I am so sorry. Oh cool, thanks, Bodie. Mr. and Mrs. Fjord, it's a beautiful baby boy. What shall you name him? Oh, I think Kerpile. Oh boy. <laughs> Ah, the exotic Mire Key with such names as Radigad Ponfeet, Polmafi Ferdigris, Veliav Hertz, and Harold Evans. <laughs> Vampire? Oh no, it's just Vance from Klaus. He's the one who told me how to find you. Oh no. Oh, it's a skeleton dog. What if I pray melee? Uh, we will be using the Wilderness Sword <laughs> against this guy. Yeah. Everyone's just watching me like, yo, you're doing a really good job. Nice, nice going. 
Aha! In search of the Myrkey completed, let's uh, help him some more, yeah? The next quest in the Myrkey series is in aid of the Myrkey, and it requires so many items. Most of those are really easy to obtain, but one of them is a Mithril Bar, which normally you would need 50 smithing to make, and I don't feel like getting that. So, instead I'm going to camp Chaos Dwarves in Taverly Dungeon for the 1 in 20 drop of them. So, this shouldn't be too bad. Look at these guys, they're so short and evil. Didn't get it on the first kill. What the heck is this? Well, as it goes, we got two 1 in 128 drops before the 1 in 20. You know, that's just, yeah, that's just what happens. After 43 years of gathering the required items for this quest, we are actually ready to start in aid of the Myrkey. Hi, yeah, uh, hmm. Well, since I was really smart and led that vampire straight to the Myrkey hideout, they want a new one in the glorious, shimmering city of Berg de Rot, just south of Morton. Get out of here, this guy sucks. Well, what if I put this fish in a box? Oh, never mind, this guy rules, hell yeah. Please, this place sucks, can you make it livable? Please, I'm begging you. Ooh, this place is terrible, I bet the Myrkey would love it here. Thanks to me, the people of Bergdorot can now buy bronze axes and thin snails at reasonable prices. I'm a hero. Hey man, I fixed the bank up. That's great. Now if we could only find someone to be the banker. Yeah, if only. Cool, so Cornelius will now let us use the bank in Berg Rot. Hooray! So coming up next is a fight with two Vampire Juvenates and Gataranks. The Vampire Juvenates can only be harmed with silver weapons. So I thought, what's the weirdest silver weapon I could use here? Yeah, so I'm going to use the Blessed Axe from Animal Magnetism to defeat the Vampire Juvenates, but for the fight with Gataranx, he can he's just a dude, so he can be harmed with anything. We're going to use Old Reliable, the Bronze Dagger. You've never seen gear switches like this. Well, 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 what's all this then? Oh, Gataranx is hitting on me, okay. Mind if I ask you a question? No one's ever made that joke before, I'm a genius! I remember Veliaf showing up here and helping. Am I crazy? Is that not a thing? Oh, there he is. Okay. Alright. Thanks, man. Alright, now for the gear switch. Yeah! He's not even hitting me, he's hitting belly off. Alright, well. Still gonna dagger you. Yeah! Please, save my family! Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So we got the budget granite maul here, the gatter hammer. We'll definitely kill something with this, because look at this thing. Hell yes. All right, gang, let's get you out of this dank, disgusting cave and into a different dank, disgusting cave. And Ivan, I know you're basically defenseless, so why don't you take this armor, this weapon, and 15 fish. All right, great. Uh, now let's do temple trekking. Okay, oh, that guy's just not interested. Sounds good. So yeah, you got him, man. I'm gonna check out what's over here. <laughs> Just looking at him. Oh, you're take, taking some damage. Okay, goodbye. Okay, book about a Vondis, book about a Vondis. Gotta be somewhere in here. Where's the non-fiction? Okay, this one's all Sonic the Hedgehog fan fiction. Over here... Uh, 47 copies of Guy Fieri's autobiography. No, not quite. Um, ooh, what's this one? Um, oh, wait. Reasons to Live in Bergerot. Man, that is a short book. Uh, okay, we got it. All right, cool, cool. That's quite the collection you got down there, Drizzle, but, uh, I'm not one to judge. Also, we got a mystery box. What do we get? A bucket. Okay. Had to come all the way down here to make a rod mold. Gotta dip my rod on the well. Velioff, I made you a stick. Do you like it? Yeah, he liked it. As you may have guessed, the next quest will be Darkness of Hallowvale. We get to explore Mire Ditch. This quest is basically a running simulator, and somehow I still like it? I don't quite understand, but yeah. We gotta fix a boat and head on over. Here we are in this beautiful place. Everyone's miserable and dying, and it's just lovely. This here is Old Man Ral, and as you know, I love to give you the full names of these guys who abbreviate them, and this man's name is actually Raldbathar. And so it begins. Excuse me, Mario Watch, don't mind me. No, no, just ignore me, it's fine. Just carry on. 
Yeah. Bye. Firewatch takes an interest in me. Oh. Look at fireplace. Wow, a well, fireplace. And we're in. Great, glad you're here. Go see Veliov. Great, glad you're here. Go see Drezzle. Great, glad you're here. Go see Rold. Great, glad you're here. Go see Velioff. Great, glad you're here. Go see Fertita. Ah! So the Meyerki want me to go and sketch the castle of the vampires, and they promised, they promised if I do a good job, they're going to put it on the refrigerator. So there's a lot on the line here. So Darkmire is actually one of my favorite places in the game. I love Hallowed Sepulcher. I love just the aesthetic of the city. I can't wait to get here on this account. It's going to be great. There are 100% vampires in there looking at the window. Like, there's a fucking dude on the walls. Should we do something? Eh, maybe later. Okay, we're gonna start by drawing a big rectangle. We're gonna add two windows and a little door in the middle. Ow! Okay, Jesus, okay, sorry, a big door. Uh, Lord Vanstrom, it's me, the thinnest person in history. Oh, her mistress has an interest in Safalon. The plot thinnens. Ah, here you go, Safalon. Hope I did a good job. Cool, cool. Yeah, I took the sketches. Um, I see you're not putting them up. You'll you'll get to it. You'll get to it. Just let, yeah, just let me know. Just do it soon. Ooh, it's the only item in this entire city that uses these colors. This must be important. I broke it. Hey, I got you a book. Can I get a reward or anything? Ooh, my reward is a trip back to Berg to Rot. Yes, yes, exactly what I wanted. Veliaf, I'm back. I think for the last time for now. Please, please. You have completed Darkness of Hallowvale. I love those words. Also, we get a Tome of Experience, and I think I'll be throwing these into crafting, as I will need that higher in the short term. All right, we're gonna leave the Myrkey to fend for themselves for a little bit, because we don't have the Herblore level to help them anymore. <laughs> so we're gonna do Creature of Fankenstrain. Hey, this place is really creepy, and you seem like a bad guy. Need some help? Well, I got some head and some brain, so we might as well combine them. Seems like a thing to do. Well, we gotta kill this horse girl that doesn't seem to have anything in common with a wolf, so we should use wolf bane to kill it, probably. Well, that was a little depressing, but uh, we got a key. Man, I had a heck of a workout today. I did chest and arms and legs. Hey, I'm back with those groceries you asked for. If I was a conductor mold, where would I be? I think in this chimney. You give the chimney a jolly good clean out, for say. Yeah, I meant this fireplace. Get out of there. Yeah. Uh, turns out this monster guy is actually pretty chill, and for the second time this episode, we are complicit in crimes against nature. Yeah, it's just another day, isn't it? Don't mind me, just want to snag your jewelry real quick. Thank you. And that is Creature of Fankenstrain completed. Okay. Also, if you look at this ring, the width of the actual band is like the width of your finger. So this thing is enormous. That sounds horrible to wear. Ah, maybe it doesn't go on your finger. Next up, we got Shades of Morton. The uh, entire town has been infected with some terrible plague, turning them all into zombies. And we're gonna, I don't know, do something about it, I guess. So I read this guy's diary and he's talking about how to cure these villagers potentially using different serums uh, until the end where he's clearly doing really well with such entries such as Fafsi's Erg Soul sick with the stuff. Raditz Ufu spokes. Yeah, me too. Hey Razmire, drink this. Holy shit, I'm sapient again. Give me some olive oil, I'm cooking a lot later. Oh wow. I did not expect the minigame to be this populated, but uh, cool. Alright. So we just gotta repair and sanctify this place and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, that is done. That wasn't bad at all, nice. Uh, I'm going the wrong way, it's down here. But you're just gonna light some logs and uh, sacrifice some remains as you do. Be free, your, your spirit or something, yeah. Bronze key red, maybe we'll use that someday. We're gonna cure this guy. And we're gonna cure this guy. Shades of Morton complete. 
We've come to the final quest of the episode, which will be Haunted Mine. We'll be entering that lovely little cave right behind us there. Uh, now, this quest has a boss that's more difficult than he seems. Treus Daith. Uh, and obviously, we'll need something stupid to kill him with. And for this boss, we will be using... The Adamant Two-Handed Sword. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. So he doesn't want to give me the key, um, but I have these neat little things called hands that I can wriggle into his pockets and grab it anyway. Settled broken crossbow, let's pay our respects. Perfect, let's move on. Drop a mushroom in a cart, why not? Okay, I gotta change A, B, D, E, and G? No, I. A, D, E, I. This is hazing. Lovely. Fungus achieved. We gotta turn this water valve and run to the lift before this goofy little guy turns it back. So let's uh, throw that on there. We're gonna bolt on over. Where is he? Yeah, there he is. This goofy little guy. Mischievous ghost. He's gonna come over and just turn it off again for us. But he can sit down. Behind this door lies the arena for the boss of this quest. Treus Dave. I didn't bring this mushroom all this fucking way Just to lose to a shirtless little bitch Picking up the key, now the room is better shaking Cause I go see looking mad in a lovely red skirt For the sake of Sarah, don't make it, you just a thing still I wish very much to harm you cause your grades are console make me Lose my mind and trade a state The haunted mind might kill my spirit He might not stay with it rage But he will Clean as how I click dodging all you shit with shot could block to pick Two hands on the blade, feeling like a ray deep under the swamp Goes boy that I stomp Feeling like a red that has been locked in a maze So I must never get that path that's leading me to the date As he stands a thousand feet away, barraging me with pain Every time I miss a hit, I'm getting more and more insane And with that, our time stuck in the swamp comes to an end. Wanted to say I will be streaming on Twitch every Friday at noon mountain time. And if you want to hang out more, you can join the Discord that I've set up. The link is in the description. And you can join my chat in-game using this account's name, Worst in Slot. I'll see you next time as we complete a brand new quest. The, the quest for more money and a hat. Yep. <laughs>